Brooke Chavez here with Starwatch Media, and we're at the Who's Your Papa red carpet charity event benefiting the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Claire, I think our male viewership just went way up, <laughs> for sure. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing well, thank you. So, congratulations on Playmate of the Year first. Thank you, I actually just got back from um, kind of passing the torch over to the new Playmate of the Year over at the mansion earlier, and her name's Jacqueline Sweetberg, and she's really pretty. Nice, that's actually what my producer just asked, who's the new Playmate of the Year? Yeah, she's super sweet. She's 21, she's young, she just got the cover, and awesome. So what do those duties entail when you're Playmate of the Year? It's kind of the ambassador of Playboy and you travel around on behalf of them and speak of what's going on in the company and stuff. So it's really exciting and it's a cool way to travel around the world. Very nice. Now we saw you on Girls Next Door. Um, will we be able to see you more on television or film? I'm actually going out to Vegas to work on a lot of exciting projects right now and I'm kind of working exclusively for, excuse my voice, I'm kind of sick right now. But, um, um, the Betty Page store, which I've been working for the, for the past two years. And we're working on a couple commercials which are airing before Mad Men, which is my favorite show in the world, so I'm super excited about that. And I'm um, working on a comic book, which is really cool. And um, a calendar, Pinups for Patriots, which is coming up to support the Patriots and support the Army. And I'm doing a lot of charity work right now. Wow, you're really busy. Now, I know when you were in Vegas, you did um, the Crazy Horse Burlesque show. Yeah. Are you going to do more dancing or any of that? God, you know what? Um, they are actually moving from MGM to Paris right now. And when they get settled in at Paris, from, from what I hear from everyone that they're moving to Paris, um, hopefully it can be renegotiated that I go back to them because I loved it and I had such a blast working there but um, yeah uh, let's, there's other shows in the midst being an assistant for a magician which is being talked about right now but still in the works but yeah that sounds like tons of fun you're obviously super busy how do you find time to come here and support St. Jude's and um, how are you affiliated with St. Jude's research um, you know what this is just an amazing cause and I heard about it my friend Fran told me about it and I'm like of course I would anything I could possibly do to help if I can help raise money or you know auction things off I would absolutely love to take part in it and it's it's such an amazing cause and um, it's for kids who can't afford treatment and that's that's where everyone's heart should be that's where you know more than any other cause this is right with me because my my aunt who I'm really really close to she had leukemia and it's it's thanks to this program that she got help so I mean a lot of people they owe their life to St. Jude's and it's just complete compassion and awesome awesome cause very nice so well, we appreciate you talking to us and being here and we hope you enjoy the show and good luck with everything you do thank you. thanks Claire. thank you